Hello, and welcome to Menha Rafflesia, a horror visual novel developed by Sharon, translated by Tico Translations, available on their website. And well, it's about five relationships with five girls who aren't what they seem. And I guess a little content warning: uh, this is a horror game, so there might be graphic violence and disturbing elements. Uh, view discretion is advised. Let's start. Yep, there you go. I mean, I always say the warning before. I should like wait until it pops up. It contains violent, grotesque depictions. Uh, but the story is a work of fiction, though. It's not real. These anime girls are not real. Don't worry about it. There you go, Sharon. There's a lot of Sharon games. I know about the Sharon games. I'm just playing this one in particular because it caught my eye. I never, I never actually played this one, so. And, you know, on my channel anyway, I never recorded any Sharon games as far as I know. I play, well, I play a game that's kind of related to Sharon, but it's not really the same developer. Anyway, there you go. I can hear the sound of the wind. Is this the outside? Have I finally gone out? I don't know what that means. Open your eyes. Isn't the sky beautiful? Flowers. A blue sky and a flower field spread out before my eyes. Hey, isn't it a wonderful world? This world is so beautiful. It was just like that song, right? What a wonderful world. <laughs> Here, somebody has planted a flower field. Somebody has raised these flowers. And one by one, they bloom. It might have been you, or it might have been me. Or, it might have been someone else. I hope that you too will raise a flower. Depending on the one who raised it, this seed might bloom into a completely different flower. From the flower that you grow, what kind of color might bloom? We always justify our actions with no regard for others' feelings. We commit numerous sins without even noticing them. Even though we know our violent actions will hurt others. Even though we know our cruel worlds, our cruel words will hurt others. We know this, but pretend not to know. The more we sin, the more we avert our eyes and push the blame on others. Do not realize we are the guilty ones. You knew as well, didn't you? That in this world of ours, even a simple truth like I love you will become twisted and distorted. A terribly cruel and irrational world. If you uh, were wondering why there was flowers, I guess it's actually uh, the name the name of the game. You know, it's a made up word, I guess, but it's it, it's supposed to be a, a mash between menhara, which is a Japanese slang word for mental illness, uh, and uh, rafflesia, I believe. Uh, rafflesia is a type of flower. In particular, it's known as the corpse flower. It's a, it's it's, a, it's like very smelly, basically. So, anyway. I'm just a nobody. Without dreams or hopes, or money or power, or family or friends or lovers. I don't have anything, apparently. I'm just a single guy who's yet to obtain a single thing. Absentmindedly, I take the usual road home. Even if I were to think about it, won't I take the same road tomorrow? After all, there's no guarantee that tomorrow will be better than today. Shut up and keep walking. I walk with my head and down, eyes vacant. My house is still a ways off. I mean, at least you still have a house. <laughs> at least you have a house. You know the economy these days? 
You know, owning a house is like a big deal. Uh, suddenly, a flower appeared at my feet. An immature flower that hasn't yet bloomed. It's just like me, destined to be forgotten. A foolish existence spent walking back and forth along the same road. It's as if that late blooming flower represents myself, afraid of moving forward. That flower's name was... Ah, here we go. So interesting. So you, you choose here. Also, what's this? This little bunny thing? I click on it? I can save. Okay. I don't know what that says. Save. Weird system. I don't know what that thing that says, but I assume... Yeah, okay. Save slots there. Make sure. Uh... Okay. We go back. There we go. All right. So you choose from five flowers, you know, and as far as I know, from a, a little bit of research I've done in the game, these five flowers represent five girls. Um, and well, I don't know. I don't know. Should I just do it in order? I don't. I don't feel, you know, particularly inclined to, you know, choose any one of them necessarily. Um. Oh, I don't know. I guess, I guess I I like blue. Blue is probably my favorite color out of all of these colors, anyway. Yeah, I'll pick I'll pick blue. Uh, blue? I'll, I'll pick glue. No, blue. Hydrangea. Does it pronounce that? Hydrangea. Hydrangea. I've always thought it was hydrangea. I might be wrong. Anyway, I'll pick that one. And thus our fate is decided. I drank you. Well suited to the rain, it changes into various colors with the passage of time. Just like people's hearts. Before long, at the end of the road, the flower of intoxication will bloom. Guess we've chosen our flower. Mihomi Hydrangea. Okay. That girl with a lovely smile. Who may or may not stab me with a knife. Uh, behind those innocent eyes like grief and sorrow. Dialing you. Now let the poisonous flower bloom. I don't know if there's like a intended way to like I tend in order to play through you know the game. But you know, we'll start with this one. Uh, um, uh, thanks for the hard work today. School is out and as usual, it's already sunset. It doesn't matter. Today is just another normal day. That is, if it wasn't for that person. The anime girl. Who like zooms in like way too close. Got any personal space? <laughs> you understand that? Personal space? Uh, apparently she says Pyokyo? Pyokyo. Pyokyo. Uh, <laughs> big bro? Oni-chan? Uh, big bro, Itaro. 
Let's go home to... Uh, let's go home together. Yes, just a normal day. Except for this noisy person who keeps calling me... Her brother. This annoying stalkerish person is Miyomi. Hey. Hey, Itaro. Are you listening? Don't ignore me. I'm going to ignore you. I'm going to look the other way. All Miyomi uh, wants is to walk home with you. Like that, you know, like in every anime, any and every an romance anime, where they walk home together, I guess. Uh, I guess I have a choice here. Let's see. Uh, I mean, I don't know if this matters, but uh, do, do do whatever you want. It's gonna be the aloof protagonist. It was like, I think there's a word for that. I don't remember what it is. Like. He's, you know, I don't know. I can't remember. You know, there's always the, the main character always says that. It's like, do whatever you want. You know, it's like in Japanese law. Uh, yay. You're the besties, big bro. Stop calling me that. It's weird. Yay. He gave in and let me. Walk, uh, walk home together. Walk over with him. Walk over with him together. Yay. He, it's been a long time since I... Oh, you, so I'm getting hyper pumped up. So today I really wanted to be with you. And that's right. Listen, listen. Like Navi, you know, listen. You want to know a secret about me, homie? No. <laughs> no. Uh, nah, I'm fine. That's okay. You don't need to tell me. Secrets are meant to be hidden. Eh? I mean, won't you listen to me? No, you're too close. What well, about my homie's secret? They're gonna tell you anyway. Well, she really, really, really likes you. Wow. Did you know? You help me is totally head over heels for you. Big bro, do you like me help me too? Of course you like her, right? No. Daga. Kotoro. Okay, we can't. There's no choice. Also, I'm going to save every five seconds. Uh, I don't have enough save slots. Um. I mean, I don't think this choice matters either, but uh, sure. Fine. Yeah, Magish. You really mean it? They're happy. You don't look happy. <laughs> You're frowning. I could cry. Is it alright? Is it alright? You little me homie is gonna cry, you know? Yitoro. Please marry me. Hmm. I'm assuming we're in school, so like we're too young for that. Let me think about it. What's there? I wish there was more safe slots. Um. Yeah. Uh, let me think about it. I got it. Yeah, I'm not kidding about what I said earlier. But since the day I first met me, homie. She seemed to be completely attached to me. However, she was sometimes super annoying. And I despise her. No, um, so recently I've been avoiding her. But seeing her radiant smile return, it was fine for us to be like this after all. That's what I thought anyway. I'm the aloof protagonist. Where, you know, we can't have a normal relationship. I have to, like, Spurn her advances, because that's how it works. You have to nag her, I guess. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, Mihomi Hydrangea. That's how you pronounce it. Mm -hmm. Look that up. Hydrangea. Hydrangea. 
Hydrangea. Hydrangea? Hydrangea? Hydrangea. Hydrangea. It's hydrangea, not hydrangea. I don't know, English language. You know how to pronounce anything. Hydrangea. It's hydrangea, not hy hydrangea. Do you think it's hydrangea? I don't know, that sounds cooler. Sounds like a Pokemon. Hydrangea. Go, hydrangea. Hydrangea. Use hyper beam. Uh, phew. I return to my house. I watch some TV to relax. I watch my favorite anime. The Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya. Actually, it's not my favorite anime, but one of the first anime I watched, I guess. The doorbell rang. It was uh, this time of night. I put down my half-finished cup of noodles and headed for the doorway. Very, like, you know, realistic background. It's literally just photos. You know, no normally in visual novels, uh, the developer at least tries to pretend that the backgrounds are drawn you know they like trace it but like this is just photos <laughs> big bro itaro i guess in japanese you should be saying like itaro nichan you know is that normal i don't know why she come i mean it's a trope i guess you know that anime girls would refer the brother like that but like usually it's the real brother you know not like a stranger, anyway. Or not a stranger, but you know, not blood related, rather. Uh, good evening. I came here to play. Can I head up? Hmm. Save the game? Oh, maybe I shouldn't save it there. Ah, whatever. Um. Did you run away from home again? No, your parents will be worried. Uh, I'll say this. No, your parents will be worried. Eh. I mean. You're a dummy, dummy, dummy. You're a baka, baka, baka. Fine, then. I'm gonna do whatever I want, then. Hmm. No, she's gonna come in anyway. You're trespassing? I need to call the cops? No. Oh. Amazing. So your room is this big. Hey, can I sleep over? Pretty please, big bro. I want to stay here. Just for a short time, please. No, get out, you freeloader. You gotta pay the rent. <laughs> I'm not going home. From now on, me homie's changing. Her name to Runaway Girl Me Homie. Or not. I'm not a magical girl. Hey, it's all right, isn't it? Anyway, your parents will be away for a while, right? Conveniently. You know, in every anime. You told me earlier. Hmm. Again, I'm saving every five seconds. Like, I'm just never, like, sure. Uh, like, if these choices matter or not. If it does, like, I don't know. There's stuff in the very beginning, then. Um... Hmm... Well, I'll make an exception just for today. It's basically the same thing. <laughs> it's just like, these choices, I don't think really matter. Alright. It's my first time staying over at Itoro's house. Let's have a fun sleepover party. I beg of you, please be quiet. Yeah, I'm just gonna pick the choice. I'm not gonna save every single time. Unless it really seems like it matters. Jeez, I got it already. I'm not a kid. You look like a kid to me. Ah, uh, getting really sleepy. The homie's going to bed now. Hey, bro, sleep together? That's kind of weird. Our relationship is, is, you know, progressing way too fast. Uh, Mihomi was tired out and fell asleep. Today was the first time this girl stayed over at my house. Yesterday, my parents left on a trip. So today is an exception. It wasn't an uncommon occurrence for Mihomi to run away from home. I wonder if she had another fight with her parents. 
Well, no use thinking about it now, let's just go to sleep. We fell asleep on our hutans, arranged next to each other. And nothing weird happened. Don't worry about it. It's not that kind of game. <laughs> hydrangea. Hydr me help me hydrangea. Hydrangea? Hydrangea. Huh? Ominous music? What's happening? I hear something. A sound gnawing at my ears. My head hurts. A heavy sound. Gnawing at my heart. One word at a time. Like something had broken inside. What's it saying? I don't know, <laughs> that was like... Scary music. But oh well. Never mind that. Mihomi? I think that's her name. Mihomi. Mihomi Hydrangea. Good morning, big bro Itaro. Today's a school day too. Shall we go together? Ah, that's right. This little Mihomi here tried her hardest to make breakfast today. Please eat it slowly and properly. Yeah, if you uh, eat it, then you'll definitely be able to do your best uh, best today. I guess the text is a little bit too slow, but I don't know if there's any way to make it go faster. Right I don't want to. I, I guess I could like press the button to make it maybe go faster, but like I, I might accidentally skip something, so I don't want to do that. Right? Anyway, uh, because it's filled with Mihomi's feelings. Great. What kind of breakfast is it? I'm curious. Uh, today I had to deal with noisy Mihomi again. We even went to school together. No, what was it? What was the breakfast? Mm -hmm. It was never revealed. Was it just like eggs and toast? Or... No? Never mind. I guess that detail doesn't matter. My class is that way. Well then, see you later. Keep up the good work. Let's go home together after school. You know, it's funny how the main protect, uh, the main character has already made it clear that she's, like, way too clingy and he doesn't, like, hang out with her all the time. But, like, she's doing exactly that. I don't know if her relationship's gonna work out. Um, uh, run, 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 run. Big bro likes me homie very much. Big bro likes me homie very much. So happy. I hate PE, but since... Big bro said he loves Mihomi. Mihomi will just have to try her hardest. Hmm? It's his voice. Oh yes. Just like... Peeking out of the corner. Nothing strange about that at all. Huh? Big bro? Who are you talking to? Ah, uh, it's the person who was with you last time. Your friend, you said. Big bro. You look so happy. You're not supposed to have a... <laughs> you're not supposed to have a friend. Why do you look... So happy? Big bro looks happy. Big bro looks happy. Big bro looks happy. 
What is that? Really a friend of yours? Not really a friend. Not really a friend. Not really a friend. Now you see I've been two timing on you. You see this is how it works now. Don't worry about it. You know, that, that was totally just, that's not a sign for things to come at all. Don't worry about it. Totally fine. From that time on, Mihomi kept on staying at my house. She wanted to stay with me, or rather, she just didn't want to go home, I wonder. I had a desire to help Mihomi, but I couldn't stick my nose into another family's affairs. Why not? Put your nose in there, no? Put your nose in there. So all I could do was try to be, uh, try to become a temporary family for her. I patted Mihomi's head. I don't think I can save her like this, but this is the extent of what I can do for her by pretending to be a brother. We might only be able to be together for today or for a short time, but why are you with me? Rest assured, and sweet dreams, me homie, me homie, my homie, my homie, my homie. Not transitions, you know, in this visual novel. I mean, I guess it's kind of like. Very uh, reminiscent of a lot of visual novels, like, you know, classic Japanese visual novels. Like, whenever there's a transition like that, it feels like it's like a commercial break, you know? <laughs> in a way. But there's a lot of it. <laughs> yeah. I feel like in a short span of time. Um, I hear something. A sound gnawing in my ears. A heavy sound. Again. What was it saying? Wake up. Wake up, big bro. Hey. Just for today, can I snug up and share your hutan? Can we sleep together? Yes, thanks. Big bro, Itoro. You're so warm. It smells good. I didn't shower all day. No. Hey, you can hold me even tighter. You little me homie. We'll try to escape. Is it alright if I live in your home instead? Just kidding. It's just a lie? You know, big bro. Me homie really loves you. I mean, I assume romantically, but actually, I don't know, she always calls Itoro big bro, so like, is it familial, or? <laughs> I, don't know. I thought they confessed to each other in the very beginning, but like, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, is it meant to be just, supposed to be like, uh, you know, like, big brother zone, <laughs> you know, like friend zone, except it's big brother zone. Ni Chen Zone. It's lunch break now. I was eating my lunchbox alone. And suddenly, something blocked my sight. It 
Who is it? Oh, <laughs> this I could. I don't know. I don't know if this matters. I'm gonna save the game. I don't know. She just kills me if I say poop. Every decision could end your life. Poop. Hey, bro, stop messing around. Me, homie, you get angry, you know. And you won't like her when she's angry. It's my lunch break, too. Let's have lunch together. Ah, hey, Itoro. Can I stay over tonight as well? I want to buy some snacks while we go home. Uh, don't, don't come. You're not allowed. Who said you could stay over? Hmm, who said you could stay over? Eh, the no sleepover today, for real? That's, that's too cruel. You're a dummy. Triple baka. So stingy. Ogre. Ogre. I guess Oni? Devil? Akuma? Yandarella? <laughs> oh, that's, that's, just, that's just a reference to Aaron's other game. They have a lot of games. Yeah. Uh, Mihami doesn't want to go home. Hey, bro, I, I never thought you were, you were such a meanie. Well, I've said my piece. I'm such an understanding girl, aren't I? Big bro I know is very kind, so you must have a good reason. I know. Speaking of which, during today's homeroom, the teacher gave us all a warning. My one male friend, Yukimaru, had been hurt. Hmm. Hurt badly enough to be hospitalized. You know, I guess she, she's not a Yaoi fan. <laughs> anyway, uh, now I'll be, I'll be all alone in class again. As I thought that, I was thinking about when I should go pay him a visit. Hmm? You know, everyone's talking about that. It seemed Mihomi had heard about Yukimaru. Seems like rumors were floating around at school. But even so, Itoro, did you know? Your friend was saying some mean things behind your back. They've even reached Mihomi's ears. They're the worst sorts of rumors. Really? What's the point in having such a friend, right? So, well, isn't it good for you that he got beaten up then? It'd have been really bad for you. But you don't have to worry anymore. Hey, big bro. Everyone around you are your enemies, you know? <laughs> what was that? Oh, the misery. Everyone wants to be... Or was it? Everybody wants to be my enemy or something. I don't know, anyway. What was it? <laughs> You better be careful. It's dangerous around here, you know? But your little Mahomi here will never betray you, you know? Mahomi will be your only ally forever and ever, you know? Only Mahomi can protect her big bro, you know? Hey, big bro. Big bro. There's no one in your heart except for Mahomi, right? Ah yes, gaslighting. I think that's what gaslighting is, you know? Making you like think, like making you believe in something that's not real, I guess. I don't know, something like that. I'm not, really, I'm not entirely sure of the definition of gaslighting. Maybe it's not the best example, but... Anyway. Uh, boy. Itaro, how did you get a girlfriend? I'm so jealous. It's become boring without you, man. Uh, I want a girlfriend too. Preferably one 
that can stab me in, in the face whenever she gets jealous. Now, I, I wonder what kind of pretty girls I might be able to meet. Hmm. You're... Ah, it's you. Are you getting along well with Itoro? Hey. Yukimaru. Uh, hey Yukimaru, uh, what's up? Star Star. Disappear. Ow. Yeah. What are you... Please don't get too friendly with my big bro Itaro, okay? You're an annoyance. You're an eyesore. Please kindly disappear. Yeah, huh? Hee hee. Star. Heart. Smiley face. Tongue out emoji. Knife emoji. I mean, we know, you know, we know that happened. Um, how'd she get away with it, though? You know, wouldn't she be charged? <laughs> wouldn't she be arrested once Yukimaru gets better? I don't know. Um, uh, <laughs> no! Who's saying no? Stop! Stop! Stop it! It hurts. It hurts. I'll do anything. I'll do anything. So stop it. it. Hurts so much. I'm gonna die. Please stop. Why are we even born, you brat? You're making a face like a shitty bug. If only you didn't exist, your mama and I, we could have started all over again. Just the two of us. A cheeky attitude is just as expected from another man's brat. Know your place, you damn kid. You're really a worthless sack of shit. Die. Hurry up and die already. Come on. We don't have all day. Get it over with. Can't do it. I can't. No. Huh? What'd you say just now? Is that I know I heard? That was enough for you, huh? Huh? Is that it? That's not it. I'll do it. I'll do it right now. Shut your trap. Don't make such a loud noise, you piece of trash. Shut up already. Good. Great. Um, social... <laughs> what, what's it called? Uh... Uh, C uh, Child Protective Services, you know, CPS, doesn't exist in anime, by the way. <laughs> Big bro, sorry for waking you up. I'm alright. I'm alright, just had a scary dream, that's all. Okay. I guess she just had a nightmare. That's all. Oh, there's the there's the flower. There's the reflis the reflisia. Reflisia? Reflisia? Hmm. There's no school today. It's already past noon. I slept too much. Gotta wake up. My homie must have already woken up. There's a nice smell. Breakfast was wrapped and placed on top of my table. And beside it, a note. You don't need to take care of me anymore. Thanks for everything. Goodbye. 
Please don't look for me, big bro. I had a very bad feeling. <laughs> you don't say. And dash out of the house. You know, he's, uh, I'd be surprised if he didn't have a bad feeling after reading that now. I'd be like, hmm, I should have had a bad feeling, but I simply ignore it. That's what you would do instead. Tax free shop. How's that possible? I searched for Mihomi. I ran as if my legs would be torn off. I ran as if I would vomit from the exertion. I continued to call out Mahomi's name. At, the, at school, at the park, at cafes. Even though I, I looked in all the places I could think of. Why, Mahomi? Why did you leave? I couldn't find Mahomi anywhere. I couldn't find my homie. My homie. What should I do? I give up. I simply give up. Um. Okay, so I think this choice matters. I, I guess it's only the choice in the very end that matters, really. Um, I could do the thing in anime where the protagonist doesn't give up. And, you know, that's what you should do, really. Or you should just be, eh, whatever, she wasn't worth it. Time to go home. <laughs> it's like, who cares? Um, sure. I, I want to see what happens if we actually do give up. I, I always want to see, like, you know, what I think is going to be the bad end. I have no idea. But I'm assuming this will lead to a bad end. It seems like it. So I'm going to choose this one first. You know, she's, like, too clingy. She stabbed my, my, my friend, you know. I'm not sure about her home situation, but it seemed, you know, very extreme. I don't know. Yeah, it's too much trouble. I return home. The letter was placed on the table. It wasn't the same as the first note. Did Mahomi return home just to send this? That's right, big bro. Big bro was right all along. Mahomi was the one who hurt Yukimaru. Big bro, were you aware of it? So stop looking for Mahomi. Okay? Besides, if you're reading this, then you're already thinking, I can't find Mahomi, so let's go home. Can't be helped. He's like, let's predict everything. Big bro Itaro, you really are an insensitive person. Yeah, Mahomi. To plan all of this. 4D chess. As I read the letter, I felt as if my heart was being carved out. How had it come to this? I had never wished for such a sad ending. I wondered what Mihomi was doing now. Even though I was, I was worried, I don't think she will ever return. I hear something. A sound gnawing at my ears. My head hurts. A heavy sound. Yeah? Big bro Itaro. Are you still awake? Without your little Mahomi around, aren't you feeling so lonely? Gnawing at my heart, one word at a time. Like something had broken inside. What was it saying? Hmm, Maya, what sharp teeth do you have? Big bro, there's no one for you except Mahomi, you know? Only Mahomi believes in you, you know? Everyone around Big bro is an enemy. Oh, the misery. Only Mihami will remain Big Bro's ally forever and ever, you know.
Now, now, it's showtime. If I set this house on fire, I wonder if Big Pro can make it out safe and sound. Probably not. I mean, most people suffocate from the carbon dioxide. Yeah! <laughs> I'm just a little cute little arsonist. Burn! Burn it all! Your house, I'll burn it all down. Uh, no, not in this economy. I don't have, you know, house insurance or whatever. That and as it turns out, she just burns your house down. Because why not? Gnawing sound. I guess the gnawing sound is her grinding her teeth, maybe? That's what I'm guessing. Anyway, we're back here. Alrighty. So we're back over here. Let's not give up this time. As it turns out, if you give up, she just burns your life. Because why not? I guess. But don't give up this time. Let's try not to disappoint her, I guess. I'm not going to give up looking for her. There's still some time left. Where could she be? She could be anywhere. In fact, she could just be back at your house somehow. She keeps going back to your house, you know. Also, Gundam Cafe. The rain was falling. I was exhausted and had to slow down to a walk. Drawn by something before I knew it, I had arrived in front of a bridge. There was a girl. Look, there she is. I take out my lighter and I, you know, and I take a a uh, gas can or whatever, spray can, and freaking burn her alive instead as revenge but from an alternate timeline. No, um, it was Mahomi. Mahomi was standing in the middle of the bridge. The bridge was quite tall. Anyone who fell off would certainly die. There is no one, no one else around. A world consisting of only two existences. Mahomi and myself. Mahomi was quietly staring down at the ground below. I too was staring at Mahomi. It's you, big bro. So you came? But really, you're late. Surely, probably, it's already meaningless. Um, I don't know if this trust matters. Technically, it's a different question, so. The game. Um, what happened? Itaro. It's already too late for me. If you hear the truth, you mustn't hate me, okay? You mustn't. Promise me. Okay? Well then, you know what? Mihomi. Mihomi has a, a baby in her tummy. <laughs> what? Nani? Mihomi's pregnant. It's not a lie. It's the truth. That's right. I, I don't want to say any more. You understand, right? About what happened. I don't want to talk about it. You know, you're so cruel. Why didn't you help me? Why didn't you even come and try to help me? Huh? That's not right. I never even asked for help in the first place. Uh, isn't your homie just such a bad girl? A useless girl? That burns people alive and all of it. Surely you have no reason to live now. Surely you must hate me now? Wouldn't, wouldn't it be better for me to just die? 
I never asked to be born in this terribly cruel and irrational world. In my whole life, what have I accomplished? Even I have, at least, managed to obtain one thing. Take bro's heart. Literally. Kalima. Take it out now. Mahomi grabbed the bridge's handrail and leaned her body forward. I panicked and went straight for Mahomi. In the beginning, I had already made up my mind to jump off of here. So farewell, big bro. Mihomi went over the railing and hit the ground. Was Mihomi dead? I rushed to where Mihomi fell and looked down. At that moment, somebody pushed my back. Just like Mahomi, my body hit the ground with a thud. Mahomi's face was nearby. Mahomi. It was a young girl's beautiful face. I tried to reach out my hand, but my strength had already left my body. Still, the rain kept falling. To think of it, the day I first met Mahomi, it was raining just like today. Even though the rain's not really moving, it's just a still image of lines. Anyway, <laughs> while thinking about such a thing, I stare into Mahomi's lifeless eyes. Well, looks like the flowers bloomed. Happy end? <laughs> That's a happy ending? <laughs> okay. Well, guess it ends there. Uh, makes me wonder what the bad ending was. If the bad ending was her, technically you don't find her. I'm assuming she died in the bad ending anyway. I guess in the bad ending, maybe the main character hallucinated and... Maybe burn themselves alive, you know? In a weird way. So, like, maybe he went like a little, I don't know, crazy, I guess. Himself from the grief. I don't know, I'm not sure. So, it, I guess it's implied that, you know, she didn't just kill him in, in the bad ending. He killed himself, maybe. I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, she was pregnant. I mean, that implies, you know, <laughs> not morbid, but. This is why you gotta legalize abortion, I guess. No, um. <laughs> anyway. Um. But yeah. Yeah, just a tragic ending. I mean, that's just typical of the sharing games. Uh. Yeah, I mean, this is, uh, you know. That was like its own story, but there's more to it, you know, than, than just one route, I guess. Uh, in Men Menhe Rafisia, there's actually uh, five routes in total. That was one of them. So, four to go, I guess. Um, I don't know. 
I don't know, I'm just thinking about it. I mean, it is, yeah, it's just kind of sad because she was just being abused the entire time. Again, CPS doesn't exist, I guess, in the anime universe. But, um, it's just, yeah, she's being abused the entire time, and the main character just didn't do anything about it. It's like, yeah, I shouldn't, you know, I should, I shouldn't put, put my nose where it doesn't belong. They're just arguing, right? They're to she's totally not getting physically and sexually abused. Don't worry about it. As it turns out, she was. Well, hmm. anyway, I mean, these are just the credits. Should I just let the credits play? I wonder if there's an extra scene. I have no idea. I don't know how it works. Is there like a. I don't know. I wonder if the game keeps track of all the different routes. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know if there's anything to talk about. I mean, very, like, typical Sharon story, though. I imagine all the other stories are going to be very similar. But, um, I mean, I imagine different personalities, though. Obviously. I mean, I guess we'll see. It's, uh, it's interesting so far. If not a little slow pace for some reason. I think it's because of all the transitions. It's the weird, like, commercial break transitions, you know, that make it kind of slow for me. Um, I don't know. A lot of realistic photos, though. It's kind of like... Huh. Nice photos. Uh, the rain is falling. A terrible rain. In this weather, there stood a girl without an umbrella. The girl was standing in the middle of a bridge. The bridge was quite tall. Anyone who fell off would certainly die. There's no one else around. Only myself with an umbrella and a girl drenched in the rain. The girl was quietly staring down at the ground below. I too was staring at the girl. Hmm, interesting. She had pigtails back then. What are you looking at? Who are you? What do you want? I don't have a place to call home. Even if I go back to my house. There's nothing for me there except for a fake family. If someone falls from here, they'll surely die. They'll fall into pieces, you know. I took the girl's hand. So shiny. Why is she so shiny? She has those sparkles. I, I guess it's rain. <sighs> Eh? Like rain droplets? If this went on any longer, the girl would surely jump down from here. So I thought. The girl did not protest. And so, the two of us walked away in the middle of the rain. With our hands joined together. The girl gently returned my grasp, and thus began our toxic relationship, <laughs> where she was way too attached to me, and then stabbed my my friend. Hmm. Oh, here you go. Clear password to Zay. Okay, probably, probably write this down. Hold on, my notepad. Um. Oh no, it's, it's going away. Okay, it was, uh... Hold on. Pass... Password to Z-E, right? Down. Save it. Um, I was thinking though, okay, so, I mean, it's kind of touching at the end there, but also, again, tragic, because, you know, that, that, that's... That little epilogue there, I, I guess, or... Stinger? I don't know what you call it, but... Um... 
you know, it's a show the first time that they met and the reason why, you know, she was so clingy to you in the first place. It's the one nice thing that you do, you know, kind of a trope, really. Um, makes me wonder, though, because in that ending, she jumps off, right? And then you get close, too, and you try to look at her body, I guess, but you also get pushed off? I wonder who did that. <laughs> who freaking did that? I don't know. What do you mean someone pushed you off as well? Was it just an accident? Or was it like, literally someone else killed you? I'm not sure. I mean, my theory is maybe... Possibly Yukimaru? That might be too... Maybe it's just a conspiracy theory. But maybe Yukimaru was like, like Watch out, bro! No? Uh, she, she, she stabbed me! I'm gonna save you! And then he tries to push her off, but then... Pushes you instead or something. Nah, maybe not. And that's t that's too convoluted, I think. I don't think that actually happened. But I do wonder, how, how do we fall off as well, you know? Other than the fact that it's meant to be poetic, in a sense, where we both die. I don't know. Um, yeah, not sure about that one. Strange. But anyway. I guess, uh... From now on, we're gonna pick another heroine. And see what their life is like. Maybe it's better? Probably not. I guess we'll see.